Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my little chick. Oh, and my little sunflower seeds. That's it. No, not sunflower seeds. You're not. You are sprouting seeds. You are my sunflowers. So, um, I'm coming to you today because you know, about three days ago, I had a vision. Now, this is a crazy vision, and this is all conspiracy. Before I even start with this crazy vision, okay? Now, it's not crazy to me, but I know many of you may say, this is some BS. Okay, but you know, I always say the numbers don't lie. A and B, I say, what well, if it's truth, then the truth will come to pass. So when I got this vision, I sat on it for what, maybe three days? Yes. I didn't, I, it, it wasn't that I didn't want to tell it. It did. I didn't write it. I just said in, in the middle of it, and I, I, I understood it so clearly that I said, I got it. I said, but I, I, I need to know if this is what I need to do, speaking to my higher self. Is this so, but today I was said, now you've been sitting on it for three days. If you don't, then I'm going to give it to someone who will. So I said, well, here it is. Well, a year ago, back in my early days, I made a video, a video, what is it called? Tell me the right terminology. Yes, you have made a video. On Hollywood, Holly Witches. It's one of my biggest ones yet. At the time when I made that video, I knew that there were two major queens. I knew it was Kim Kardashian, and I knew it was Beyonce. I knew at that time that a rising queen was going to rise up out of them. Now, Okay, okay. In this culture, we don't use queens as loyal as as royalty. However, but we do use queens as queen B. So when I'm using the queen, this 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 is how I'm using it as a, a term of endearment. However, as a term of endearment, but powerful. Okay. So make it no mistake that these two women were and are powerful. However. Beyonce, at the time, you know, she was married to Jay-Z. She was going through troubles. He made that song back when, baby, come? In 2017, 444. Which has four, and let me be clear, in that triangle, it takes three fours to make a triangle. Fours always mean foundation, but it takes three fours to make a triangle. Let that marinate. So now we're going to get ready to go in. So at the time when I made Hollywood, Holly Witches, I never wanted, I wanted to follow it, but I didn't want to get, that's what my ministry would be about. That's what I'm going to be doing. Talking about this morning, noon, and night. I didn't care how the money came. I, I wanted to do uh, celebrities. And as you see, I'm doing the two top celebrities in this United States world over here. Okay. Now at the time coming forward, remember the video now coming forward, there has to be a test. The test between the two ladies were who, this is my vision. I saw in a test where the two ladies for the last two years was trying to go, who is going to be more powerful? Who's going to be the powerful one to represent black and the underground or the power of the power of the power to be secret society. Okay. But they have done their sacrifices. Okay. Now this may, you don't have to agree, but I have to show things where there could have been a sacrifice. This is all a conspiracy, but follow me. So in this Rob, um, Rob said that Kim sacrificed him. Right? Okay. Beyonce lost a child. So we make them even. And we know that Rob Kardashian has been suffering for a long time from sickness. I think diabetes, but I'm not 100. So we know that. And he feel as though it was that he, she sacrificed him. Okay. Shall I go deep baby? Yes, Am I making shall. sense? 
Okay, so at the time, Beyonce, she's married to Jay-Z, she's angry. So they both were going through problems with their relationship. Everybody was saying, Beyonce is this and Beyonce is that. Beyonce can't read, Beyonce is is tacky, Beyonce is all of this. On the same hand, Kimberly is going through the same thing. You know, Kanye is crazy. She doesn't want to live to Wyoming. They're all in that same predicament. However, during the time, baby, Con, you may have to help me. Okay. During the time where the, um, the, the, uh, the album, her, yes, Renaissance, her Renaissance album. When, when Renaissance album came out, came out when? It came out July 29th of 2022. At the same time, just before that, when the Vogue of the Black Woman came out with Kim Kardashian. What was it? Yes, that was in March of 2022. She was the cover of Vogue magazine, but she also had did a Vogue shoot of iconic black women. And she, and we, and she did one of the famous mother of all. Tell them. Beyonce. Beyonce. Okay. So now she's going up against Beyonce. She's showing that I can be black. She's showing I can act back. I got a big back. She's doing everything. At the same time, when Beyonce comes out, she comes riding on like this white silvery horse, kind of transparent, naked. Yes. Okay? Kimberly, at the same time, come out with the American flag, naked just about saying, take me back, America. Yes. Right? I'm ready to be white again. Now, 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 that may not be what you all want to hear, but that's how I interpret it. Okay? That may not be, but this is my interpretation. Because in my thing, it's two queens quite fighting. Who's going to go up in there? There is only room for one. And when Beyonce take her seat, which she already have, when she take her seat, she is an official gatekeeper. She is one with power. She is in that place where air meets what? When air meets light and there's nothing. Am I right, baby? Yes, Cole? and it transforms into the ether. It just turns into nothing. Where Beyonce and Jay-Z are Presently, this is where Kanye and Kim wanted to be. But their marriage got sloppy. Kim made a fool, but they was going to represent. Remember, this is all about representing the underworld, the black people, the people of color. This is they, they need a slot up there for that. See, so this race has been going on for a few years, ever since 444, when he made that album and begged her back. Because they was, it's all been even. They both have been living each of her lives. Right? Baby Crone, can yes, you see it? I can see it. So now, when we rise up again, now we come to a place where th th this thing, they have this dinner. They, they have this dinner. And this dinner is the weirdest, weirdest thing. Because at this dinner, it's like, it is like the marriage supper of God. Yes. What was it, Baby Kong? It was the Carters recreating at the Grammys Award. The Grammys, where they got all these Grammys of yep. this and that and the other And thing. the song that JC just happened to be performing while performing at this Last Supper recreation, mm -hmm. it was titled God Did. So I'm done. Anyway, so what's so peculiar about this, now at the same time, Beyonce, she's getting ready to go on her Renaissance tour, and at the same time of this, Kimberly has already bought her house. Yes, she has. When did she buy that house that she had that they just showed us now at the ending at the ending at the end of this season? Yes. Of this year, 2023. Mm -hmm. What was it that house that she bought? She had bought her 70.4 million dollar Malibu mansion in September of 2022. In other words, saying, I got this. I got this. But because they broke up, so when they come to the awards, they already know, okay, they know now I'm winning this because you have to have a marriage. I don't care if you claw your way. I don't care. They want a front. 
This is, this is, this is, uh, this society is not about color like that. It can be because it's racist. It, it's a part that's racist. It, it's, it's, it's a vein. It's, it's huge. It's, 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 it's the millions of people probably a part of it living in debt. You understand? But their dead never die. You understand? Because they believe in the worship of ancestors. Okay. So, um, and their blood. So blood is very, very powerful here. Okay. So now when you're looking at this and you're looking at now Beyonce, I mean, um, what's her name? Kim. Kim Kardashian, her and Jay, her and, and Kanye is a mess. He's doing everything he can. People's calling him crazy. He wants her back. She's begging, blah, blah, blah. But she feels as though I don't need him. He's crazy. The best thing I can do is walk away from him, clear my name. I know I could take the Carters. Oh, but how she looks remorseful now. How I know, because remember, Beyonce looking bad. People ain't liking her Renaissance album. People feeling funny. Come on, remember the tone. I, I don't know. It was weird. You know, the lady came out, the one that went, my milkshake, did my boys in the yard. Police. And then Felice came out and said, don't take my music. She used a little bit of this and a little bit of that. She bit here, she bit there to make that Renaissance album, which is an album of music we all heard before. But it was ingenious, right? Because she catered to the homosexuals. She knew that that was the pulse. Remember, she's representing all people. When she's up in those places and they want to understand something from her limitedness of white from, um, blackness, from what she known from a child, Beyonce haven't been black like that in so long, guys. Come on, really? So, and that's not even an insult. The, the proof of point to you is like even when her daughter died, her daughter is not supposed to, I'm just using color because it's such a color state, world, yes. where we live. It's like she doesn't have that. Beyonce have it. Her sister have it. They have that Creole. You understand? So, but when she, um, uh, Murray, JC, that's another step away from that Creole blood. Remember? But it was ordained that, that Beyonce shall be queen. Y'all had already named her Queen B. Yep. She was already named. And here we had the Kardashians beginning with that K. So it was that we king, we queen too. We're in this. We are forced. And they have been a force to reckon with. Both of these two women has mesmerized us. Now, this is where it gets sticky. Now, at the very end of this, we already know that at the end of my vision, I saw I have to say it the way I see it. Like I said, everything is conspiracy. I hope everything I say do not come to pass. I hope that I am so wrong. But if I don't put this on video and I don't put it out there, I was told somebody else is going to do it. And maybe somebody else will come along and make it even sharper than what I'm doing now because I'm really, really being sensitive to what I saw. So now I saw that it was true. Queen Beyonce became, she indoctrinated in the secret society. Now she's a part of the leader sphere. She probably won't work as much anymore. She's got allegiance to things where you get all power things. She's, um, she's, she's a witch. Now, when you all think a witch, you think of evil. Think of a witch, like a pastor that can lay hands on the sick and see him recover. She's a witch. Her powers are not necessarily evil. Her powers are what they want them to be. So if she wants you to be afraid, then you'll be afraid. If she, if you cross her path and she wants to destroy you, she will destroy you. A, she has the power and the manpower to do it. She has the money. That alone. So when you have money, you don't have to use hocus pocus ability focus. You, you, you don't need that. You understand what I'm saying? So their powerfulness plays in a different way. However, now they're there. How do we know that they made it? The day that Beyonce stood and brought that $200 million home, she said to the world, it's like she dropped the mic and said, we're here. And what's even more fascinating is that this mansion is located in Malibu as well. Where Kim, Kim had bought her $70.4 million mansion. Where Kim said that was her dream. Mm -hmm. So where we see here, so two women for it. So now what happens to the loser? 
Now, this is what I saw. I'm just going to say it, and this is no disrespect to anyone. And remember, everything I'm saying is a metaphor, okay? I saw that even that's why Beyonce was fighting so. That's why she really wanted it. She was nervous too. I mean, the Kardashian is no feat. And remember, the mother is banking. If you're going to win this thing, Kim, you're going to win it on your, on your looks. You're going to win this thing. Remember, they had their babies. They had all of this. You see all the sacrifices both of these women has made. Am I right? We've yes. seen it. Okay. So now you have to choose. Beyonce won and she declared it to the world when she bought that house. The same where B Kim Kardashian bought her house with the seven. With that seven, without her even knowing it, that was the seven deadly sins. When you look at the episode, it would be like you see Kim is playing this whole scene as a melancholy, as living in the past, as if to know we're facing so we're gonna have to go through something. The mother know. It's like we going off a of TV is not one thing. And other in other words, if you're not the queen, if you're not it, then that means you have to come down a little bit more to more common people. And so when you come down to the common people, the common people want to clear at you, tear at you. So they're going to go through some financial woes. They're going to go through some trouble. They're going to be ripped down. I don't even want to say it. Baby, come help me say it in a better way. Well, because I don't want, I not like blood. This is spiritual, spiritual talk. Right, but it made me think about the houses a little bit because... Oh, baby crown. Because um, Beyonce had paid for it in cash, mm -hmm. her $200 million house. However, 700 Oh, no, Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. However, Kim had to take out a $48 Ooh, million she did. Dollar she mortgage it. Mm -hmm. in order to pay for her house. And this wasn't even in the middle of her, of her, um, of her, of her renaissance show. Mm -mm, nope. she, this wasn't even in the middle of it. So she's showing, I don't need this show to buy this house. Yep. So she bought it where Kim was. So all of these things are orchestrated because Kim wanted to be there. And with that seven million, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And she's going to invest a couple of million. So that meant at the end of the day, let's say Kim spent uh, 80 million on that house. But a house now that she sees, oh my God, this is empty. This is, um, this is going to be for the children to have, come and have a cookout. All you see is, uh, what is that word? Reminiscing. Reminiscing of the past as a person that has been defeated. She knows she has been defeated. She knows she'll never be queen. She knows that everything she does now, hey, I don't know what the fault of her, but I do know that those women and those high places and those women and those low places, and I'm talking about women of other colors, are coming because they want them down. And now that they don't have the hedge around them, you understand? Because you're lost. So it's like with the Jews. So when the Jews, every once a year, they, they have a, a, a escape goat to go out. One goes and gets slaughtered and the other one goes to be escaped. So right now it's up to Kim and them to either fold up or go out in a clawing manner because they don't have the gate. They are not up and they didn't fail. They're in the house, but they're not up there. They're no. They did not make it. I hope that I'm saying it in a way that you could receive it because this is a spiritual thing. So Beyonce is the representative of gays. She is, they, they, she, her and Jay-Z is the representative of black people. They the representative of minorities. And what does that mean? That means they stand in a block. When somebody up there get to talking or saying something that maybe that they have to fix or something, they'll have a say on those areas. Now, like I said, Everything I said is allegedly. I saw this in a vision. Now, at the time when I did this, baby phone, I said, I need proof. I can't just come out there and say this without proof when I know that I did Hollywood, Holly witches. So on the night, no, hold up. When Beyonce put her first album out, Right? Yes. Renaissance, I mean, when she put a Renaissance album out, that Renaissance number equaled out to be a six. That six represents society. Am I right? Yes. 
when they had the um the when he made the grandstand at the, the Grammys, Grammys and and said this is the Lord's Supper the what was the name Michael D'Angelo yes the last Painting, supper the last supper that too was a six six and that represent witches so we have what society, society witches but there was something missing so I was like what could it be and it says uh. So when you put the word of, of equals that triangle yep. and what it is, society of witches, they are in. Just like the anagram did in Rosemary Baby, we sat here for hours to figure out this freaking anagram. And it is, what is it, baby crown? Yes, six. Six. Six and three. Because the, the six and the six, it takes the three. Yes, it takes. Baby Crone can explain it better than I yes, can. Yes, because the but three numbers. But this is numbers. not a foundation. The three is not a foundation. No, but it's a the, unity. But the, but the three is about unity. And there is nothing that can't be built. Everything has to be built on this triangle base. Talk, and in baby. spirituality. And spirituality. And father, S yes. son, father, mother, child. And that's what they're representing. Yes, they are. And how did we come up with these numbers? Because when Beyonce had released her album Renaissance, that was July 29th of 2022. Mm -hmm. And when you add up the seventh month and the 29th day of the 2022 year, that adds up to a six. So that's how we got six to equal out for society for society as well because when you add up the letters in society because letters are connected to numbers that adds up to a six as well so society mm -hmm. and renaissance album both are sixes and then when we look at the grammys last supper mm. the grammys award show was february 6 of 2023 when you add up that date that gave us a number six which when you add up the word witches, we get the number six. And that's how the numbers prove that this is an anagram and this is a society of wishes, witches and that they've done their final initiation. They're fine. This is at their end. And there is a loser. So it's like squid games. You know how people sit up in a high cage. So it would be Beyonce and Jay-Z would probably determine their fall. It would probably them sit there because they have to have a sacrifice. The spot, they fail. Be, um, um, at the end of the failure, uh, well, you say, won't, why, why, the question is, why won't, um, uh, what's his name? Kanye. Ye. Why ye won't suffer? Ye have suffered. Ye have suffered humiliation. He even went back to his wife. He promoted it to the world. He did everything he could talk about Pete. He did everything he could to get Kimberly back. She was so disgusted. She didn't want to live with them. She was ashamed of them. She didn't. She thought he was not going to heal. She thought he was crazy. I'm sure she said she loved him. And but she said the biggest thing for her was he was a good guy, but she did not want to move to why am why Mm -hmm. That was the biggest thing. He wanted to get out and I can say my commentary, but I'm not. So with that being said, again, in the process of we seeing them fall down, we see Travis Scott connecting up right now, working with Kanye. However, he left Kali. We also see that um, Courtney, am yes. I right? We see Courtney now separated from the family. You see? You see that power? Yep. They turn them down. Do you see it? Slowly separating. You see them separating them? You see it? You, you see it. So this is the power. So they have to be the next sacrifice. So I couldn't believe it. So I said, wait a minute. They already said that they're in debt because this is what they've been talking about with these Kardashians. They're in debt. They don't have the money like you think. They're in debt. they flashy. And, and when you look at it, that's what they was going to think that was going to be up there. That 
kind. But remember when Beyonce came famous and when she came in, everybody that has been in that level, none of them have shown wealth like this. None of them have flown, not Beyonce. I mean, in their commercials, you don't see them like that. They don't flaunt it like that. You don't see Beyonce always in the fashion mirror saying, I'm doing, uh-uh. And we didn't want that. So I'm happy that Beyonce is up there. Yes. Do she suffer another faith? Yes, she is Creole. So her faith would be either um, Catholic, Ca um, Catholicism with a twist, Aoife, Voodoo, Voodoo, Santeria, and Santeria. So yes, those things deal with that. And they deal with the seven powers, which she deals with Ashun. So does she deal with power? In many cultures, many of us, before there was Christianity, many of us worshiped these religions. Before there was Catholicism, we were in Ifa, we were in Voodoo. Many of us come from African nations. This was our heritage. Many of us suffered the, um, the religions of our family. So no, she tied back to her African can roots when we didn't when we when we in our day that's what we had we had black magic you cross us we cross you this is just the way it was but we became over the years so wise and so we don't believe in these things anymore it become primitive and only the wise know how to manipulate the arts and yes Beyonce has gone towards the arts why she had no choice what do you mean? You can't be in this and not be of it. it Vanilla Sky. That mo it, it won't, you, you can't, stay, they, 200,000? 200, 200 million. I mean, I'm sorry. 200, let's see, that's a lot of money for me. 200 million? They paid in full? What? So where they at, they, you dealing with alchemy. You're dealing with, look, they, they already had um, Travis, Doing a spell. I have pictures of um, Drake. Mm -hmm. They are in it. It is what it is. And you all have to accept that or not. Close your eyes. But not all of them are up there like that. But believe me, Oprah is. And if anything happened to Oprah, Beyonce got Oprah covered. Her place has been bought. She did the sacrifice. She defeated Kim. She showed Kim. Kim and her will never be friends. Ever. Why? Because Kim was her vicious nemesis. Kim was taken over. Kim found her. Kim dressed like her. Kim said, I am light. I can be white. I can go in. And at the very end of all of this, you see Kim humble herself and go back to saying, Please take me back as a white woman. Now, you may say they didn't do it. No, they may not be doing this psychologically con consciously. You know, they're not doing it consciously. These things has been written. As Moses says, as it been written, so it shall be done. It is already written. So they're writing it out and you're watching them fall. Look at Courtney. Look at all of them. They're falling. Courtney is saying, I'm out. I can't take no more. Look at Scott. Look at all of them. Look at the brother. Look at the mother. Trying to shift the weight. Trying to run. Body breaking down. Look at it. Look at the girls. We found out that Kylie goes out with Travis Scott and that Travis Scott and, and Kylie, no, Travis Kendall. Scott and Kendall were friends. To what degree? We'll never know. But the same thing, it runs in their family. They cheat and lie. We already know why that baby. See, now what about the baby they promised? What about the sacrifice baby they promised? What about it? It can't be Courtney. It could be Courtney's by an adoption. Why? Courtney says, not Courtney, Chloe, because Chloe is not bloodline. She is a Kardashian, but she is not bloodline Kardashian. And we all know it and Chloe know it, but she is very much a Kardashian. And you can't take that from her. You understand? Because she was born in it. Kardashian is all she know, but she, but that, Little ink stained her. So to name her baby uh, Kardashian, it's like, why would I name Tristan baby, my first baby Kardashian? I should name him after his father, Thomas. 
That makes sense. So the only person that can give them an heir would be who? Their brother, Rob. But I don't, but this is where all these things get sticky. Now they're up in the air. All these things, Kali didn't want to do it, but Kali can do it. Why? Because she's a, she's a Jenner, not, see what I'm saying? So they didn't even follow through on the air. It's this close and yet so far. We watching them fall down because they lost. And as a loss, you have to pay the sacrifice and the world will watch and and um, I just hope that they know to go away. And I could truly say that at the end of the Kardashians, it was very, very sad to see her live in the past as if she knows this is the beginning of our end. And the mother even was melancholy about it. Yes. It, it, was, it was happy, but it was happy with a sadness that I've never seen. I saw defeat. I heard defeat, and rightfully so. They are in the... Um, they are in the society, but they'll never be there. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Yes, baby clone. And with a funny little twist, I just want to say, and Beyonce is doing her celebratory renaissance tour. Yep. Well, her daughter, and when people make fun of her daughter, look, people, where she's at, where she reside, the blackest, what few are there, look at her and say, oh my God, she can dance like I don't know what. When they see, when they see Black Abby, that when she danced in front of her friends, these kids are losing their minds. To them, she's a great dancer. Why? Because they're not in the world you're in. You see, Beyonce is doing the right thing. She's grooming her to fit the world. So don't expect her hips to move like Beyonce. They weren't born to move like that. She's another breed. She is born to live like the Obamas. Do you understand? You don't see them having gyrations of hips. Right? Do I make it make sense? Yes, you so do. So you got to understand they on another plateau. And look at, I'm going to tell you, they, Beyonce is on such a, on a plateau. When they go out on vacations, where do anybody ever go where cameras go and say, hey, here they are? Very rare. Mm, that is true. That let you know how they could just slip away, have a wonderful time, and not even be noticed. That's power. And that's what they can do. And that's by working with numbers, working with seasons, working with people, working with all that. And they're up there where the source is limitless. They know things, signs, things we have no idea. Oh, my God. They are open to everything that is. As close as you can get to the zero, they are there. I hope that makes sense. And with that, I hope you enjoyed my little vision and, and watch as we watch this sacrifice fall. That's my read. Sunflowers.